in this view, I'll be continuing the Nahida birthday event. It's been interesting so far. And I think I'm I think I'm at the second part now. I did all of these. The rocking carriage levels. There's more of the quest to do. I'm at the second part of the quest. Give her sweetness. Give her surprises, give her sweetness, and not yet unlocked. <laughs> Look for Dory at Port Ormos. I thought I could just teleport to that, but I don't think I can. Dory was going to give us information on something, but wanted 200 thousand more for it, I think. But then Candice got it for 30,000, I think. There she is. She just left. I got her early. And she had already started doing business, so we'll wrap things up right away. Well, I guess that's good. I kind of forgot what we're actually buying. She left the city as soon as I handed her the travel permit and tax waiver, I promised. Wow, she sure didn't waste any time. Did she tell you where the gem came from? Yes, according to the local gem merchants, the ore was retrieved from a nameless ruin in the desert several months ago. The ruin is in very poor condition. Even the writing on the walls is nearly impossible to read. Dory mentioned something even more concerning, though. Apparently the craftsman made another gem just like that one. So there's two? Yes, the order all had a crack down the middle. The craftsmen believed it would be impossible to repair, so they turned it into two gems instead. So where's the other gem now? That's exactly what I'd like to know. If this gem truly provides the power of foresight, the consequences would be determined would be detrimental in the wrong hands. Funny enough, I heard a caravan was robbed just this morning. In a remote part of the desert. You think it's related to the other gem? I can't say for sure, but I do know this. Only small scale caravans, or ones carrying important goods, travel on remote paths like that, and their routes are highly confidential. So what you're saying is whoever attacked the caravan was able to predict its exact location? It's certainly possible. Sounds like we need to investigate the site of the robbery. For the Festival. Deus said we can meet up with everyone later. If we hurry, we should be able to get back in time. Of course, if you have any other plans, please don't feel obliged to come with me. Hey, we're in this together. There's no way we're backing out now. Let's head out. I should have known you would say that. Thank you for your help. Give her sweetness. Go to the scene of the crime. It's over in the desert. Maybe we'll get to see Sino again. and Sephos.
Nuvlet's gonna think we're trying to assassinate him again by taking him into a desert. <laughs> That's one of his voice lines. Caravan? I believe the robbery took place not too far from here. Wow, we really are in the middle of nowhere. Pet sugar, Paimon over here. Do you sense that? I sense a trace amount of elemental energy. Exactly. Many among the desert tribes are capable of wielding elemental energy. The same is true for the Aramites. Some use the power to attack caravans and earn some quick mora. Wait, are those broken planks over there? Yes. All that's left is a transport wagon. I would imagine. Strange. The wood seat looks charred. Was there an explosion? Maybe a pyro vision? I see traces of activity over there. Let's follow the road and see what we can find. Looks like something left behind by the what did it say? <laughs> but I, I can't read that fast. So what is that? Okay, I should move faster. The traces are pointing this way. Let's go up. Okay. It shouldn't be far now. Oh, there's a thing up there. Oh, I can't and people believe here. this. We made sure to pick a remote path, and we still got ambushed. Excuse me, for, sorry for the interruption. Ah! Oh, who's there? Are these the people that got, got attacked? I'm Candace, the guardian of Aru Village. I'm trying to learn more about the robbery that took place this morning. <laughs> guardian? Calm down. I think we're safe. Pretty sure stealing's not in a guardian's job description. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Don't mind him. That's kind of suspicious. Some of our guys are still on edge after the robbery this morning. That's quite suspicious. I can sympathize, of course. There's no need to be nervous. Although, is this where you plan to set up camp? Garvan Rebart isn't far, you know. The robbery took everything from us. We can't just let that slide, so I'm taking my men to confront them and get back some of what they stole at least. I would caution against that, especially when it looks like looks like you're low on rations as it is. In the desert, impulsively and overconfident impulsivity and overconfidence can be fatal. Why do all the NPCs have voice acting, but not the characters. Was it that you were transporting? Hazardous materials. Excuse me? Uh, for the love of... You can't just say that. Listen, it was just some firecrackers and fireworks. That's all. Prescience say hazardous, hazardous materials. Had written on them. They're fireworks. What else would they be labeled as? Perishable goods? Ugh. Just ignore him, please. As you can see, some of my guys aren't particularly bright. If the guards at Caravan Rebot hear of this, we'll get questioned all over again. So the charmed marks on the planks are from the fireworks? And we're 
And where were you sending those goods? To some tribal camps in the desert. Everybody's looking to celebrate with the Sub-Zero's festival coming up. Even small businesses like us got a share of the orders. Mostly the long distance transports that no one else wanted. I see. Could you describe the robbery to us? Well, it was like this. We had just set out on the remote path when... A web of thorns and vines suddenly blocked our way! Vines? What? No! Why would there be vines in the desert? Our wagon got stuck in the sand. That's what happened. I'm sure it was a trap. Yeah, this is very suspicious. After that... They're definitely hiding vines something. started falling from the sky! Well, maybe he really is just stupid. Vines? Ugh, <laughs> oh, just stop talking. That robbery messed you up more than I thought. <laughs> Don't listen to his nonsense. He's just a bit shaken up by what happened. Anyway, as we were trapped, the bandits started firing rockets at us, which made a lot of the fireworks go off. In the middle of all the chaos, they ran off with the rest of our stuff. Did you see what they looked like? Uh, no, we couldn't really see anything. There was sand everywhere, and we were more preoccupied with getting out alive. Although, I did notice that one of the bandits had this green stone. Did it look anything like this? Yes, exactly like that! I just couldn't make sense of it. I, I, if you already have something that valuable, why go after our cheap firecrackers? Unless the hazardous materials were targeted for some other reason. Alright, I think I understand the situation. Thank you for your cooperation. I would still urge you to head to Caravan Rebart and report the incident. For your own safety, don't let the anger lead, lead you to do something foolish. Well, alright. We'll just take another quick break before we head over. Good, let's go. I don't really trust those people. Alright. We should be out of earshot. So, what do you think, Pet Sugar? I'm not sure about their goods. I'm not so sure about their identity. Yes, I feel the same way. Their leader was clearly hiding something. I think we can safely say those weren't simple firework shipments. And now, whatever hazardous materials they were transporting have fallen into the hands of another group of bandits. So, one group of bad guys attacked the other? It's very possible. In any case, our biggest concern right now is the group that currently has no goods. Has the goods. And what the goal may be. The sub festival is coming up. I see what you mean. Their methods were precise and effective. It's very likely they're exploiting the vision Visions granted by the gem. The situation could be even more precarious than we thought. Hmm. I don't think we should hide this any longer. Let's head back to Caravan Repart and explain the situation to the guards. Silence. Okay. I guess they are evil then. To caravan rebuilt. Rest here for now. You too. I'll be back as soon as I've spoken to the guards. doesn't get ruined. Things are turning out to be more complicated than we expected. Oh? And what things oh, would this those I know. be? He is voice acting. Sounds like something that General Mahamatra should know about. Sino actually has voice acting. That's good. Sino, what are you doing here? I'm here on business. Investigating an unusual robbery case. Wait, 
Is it the same one? Sounds like you've just been out at work. Just doing my duty. By the way, I've brought something that I think might help with the investigation. Here, have some Parisara pudding. Oh yeah, that'll definitely help. <laughs> okay, thanks. Well, find any clues? They say the proof is in the pudding, after all. Oh, is that a pun? <laughs> Did you have to tell that joke when Paimon had a mouthful of pudding? She almost choked. Wow, very funny. Don't tell me you did all that just to make a joke. He bought us pudding just so he can make a joke. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Tell me more about this robbery case of yours. Hmm, I see. So you and Candace already did a preliminary investigation. Yep, Candace can tell you the rest when she gets back. That merchant group was really suspicious. All right, you can leave the rest to me. On a different note, do you have any other plans for the day? Oh, we'll probably head back with Candace. We're meeting up with everyone to prepare for the su- Paimon. Su super awesome dinner we're planning tonight. <laughs> I think it's pretty fine to tell him. Sino's working quarters aren't too far from Nahida's. Did Tainari tell him about the surprise? Strange. Sounds like you're hiding something from me. Yay. Paimon's not very good at lying. What? No, not at all. We'd never do anything like that. Hmm. Do you know why henna berries can't tell a lie? Is this gonna be another joke? Um... Why? Because... They're always going to be red straight through. Oh, cause... Is that the color of henna berries? Haha, <laughs> good one. That was so funny. You think so? Then tell me your secret. Well, that was very intimidating <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> is that so? You're not afraid of ending up like the bass in the lake? What? Is this another joke? Because they always wind up eating their worms. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, Kundu being interrogated by the General Mahamatra was this miserable. Mm, someone's been interrogated? Did I miss something? His interrogation method is just... Tell you lots of jokes. Until you get annoyed <laughs> and confess. Candace! Thank goodness you're back. Please save us. What happened? Can't be anything too bad. If Sino's grinning from ear to ear. Nice to see you, Candace. The Traveler already updated me on everything, so you can leave the robbery case to me. But when I asked about their plans this afternoon, they started dodging my questions. This afternoon, aren't we heading back to Port Hormos to work on the surprise? Isn't she supposed to see that secret? It's alright. Sona has already, already, always been part of the plan. What? Why didn't you say something sooner? Well, once you told me about the case, I realized I might not make it this afternoon. I was going to ask you to tell the group, but you decided to end the conversation. Do a couple of Sino jokes for nothing? It was three jokes actually. <laughs> I'm doing the sit lolly hands. Alright, we never told you who was involved. Apologies, that was our mistake. Well, with that resolved, could you tell the group I've got a case? Oh, and these are the items I was supposed to get. Could you take them back with you? Sure thing, we've got this. I would hope so. I just handed it to you. Oh, enough already! Wait, was that a joke?
I don't even get that joke. I don't understand that joke. Meet up in Portal Mouse. I think I've actually heard the Sino jokes before. Actually, I think I have. But I've heard a lot that Sino does a lot of jokes, and I've heard they're not very good. <sighs> We're back! Finally free from all those terrible jokes! Yes. Yeah, hopefully Sino doesn't come and tell us more. I really got to spend time with Sino outside of work. I'm sure he's just happy you came back to the sub for the sub zeros festival. That explains why he had all those jokes ready to go, even while on the job. My mom will never understand how he doesn't give himself a cringe attack. Ah, ah. Candice, did you have another vision? Yes, I saw. Two people went to the alley over there. They seem suspicious. I think they were talking about something dangerous. Dangerous? Maybe they're the bandits from earlier. Did you see what they looked like? No, unfortunately, their visions are very blurry. I could only catch a few words and some vague images. Then let's sneak up on them. If they're the ones looking to cause trouble during the Subzeros festival, we should catch them in the act. Maybe we should go faster? No, nothing. Secret signal. Explosion goes off. Hey, did you hear that? Sounds like they're talking about something dangerous. Let's try to get closer. When passes by on the flower carriage, we'll launch it. Factor in the object's trajectory. Completely foolproof. We can only hear some of the words they're saying. Stop your planning at once. Where's Carvey and El Haytham? <laughs> huh? Is something wrong? The connections we made, we make, reveal a lot about the mind. The fact that you went to dark place, to a dark place, simply shows the way you think. Honestly, Paimon, what did you think we were doing? We were just discussing the birthday surprise. Is that saying Paimon's actually evil then? Paimon thinks in a dark way. I was just talking about the fireworks? Not long ago. Like I said, that's not it. We have more than just a heartless, transactional relationship. You're overthinking the whole thing. It was your theory in the first place. The Mirak disappeared after working for you all this time, without anything in return. These two don't have voice acting either. I think I'm allowed some dramatics. My rock hasn't come back since it since I sent it out of out for coffee. Perhaps seeing the underlings at the academia pick up coffee for their seniors taught Marak something about his own situation. You're saying I treat Marak like my inferior? I would never. I'm just worried Marak has some sort of awful experience and decided to run away. 
Maybe something triggered an existential crisis. Marak became so angry about this mechanical existence, he decided to never come back. That's certainly an imaginative conclusion. No, that's impossible. I created Marak myself, and I perform regular maintenance every week. There's no way Marak would be that heartless. And here you are in Port Olmos, telling me all this when I'm supposed to be working. It's good I ran into you, actually. I was hoping you could take a look at my proposal. Huh? I thought you were confident in your abilities. It's not like... It's not like that. I just wanted to confirm the route for the flower carriage. Unfortunately, I know nothing about the route for the flower carriage. What? You're not involved in the festival at all? The Academia couldn't convince you to help out? Organizing festivi festivals is not part of my job description. I really think that Academia would convince me otherwise? You've got a point. Well, could you at least take a look at the final explosion? Explosion? Yep, the candy tower I designed is going to hit the flower carriage at a designated time and explode into pieces, shooting candy in all directions. Well, that also sounds kind of dangerous. The candy is exploding. It could hit someone and hit quite a few people and hurt them. Not the dangerous kind of explosion, though. It's supposed to look like fireworks. I consulted a bunch of food and engineering papers, so it's completely safe. That candy is soft, and the package is as smooth as silk flower fabric. Once I receive the secret signal, Marak will activate the mechanism from afar. That way, I can make sure the explosion goes off at the right time and place. And when is that supposed to be? When the Dendrarchon passes by on the flower carriage, once we receive the signal, we'll launch it and kaboom! Don't forget to factor in the object's trajectory and the humidity level. Already done. The mechanism inside the candy tail controls for those factors. The plan is completely foolproof. Okay, so that's what all this was about? You had your mind set on a very different interpretation. It's all right. Let me explain. The ability to see the future? That's incredible. Fascinating. You formulated a hypothesis based on your interpretation of the gem's abilities, yet the result failed to corroborate it. Perhaps this calls for a different Postulation. Um, maybe you could dumb that down a little. You assumed you were seeing the future, but what if you were actually seeing the past? What is? What does that mean? The past? Ja, ja anger said this was the second time. His wind generator broke down. Mechanical failures on that mature, on that nature, come with predictable consequences. His lack of surprise suggests something similar happened in the past. As for the fallen crates, during a busy time like the Sub Zero's festival, people often stack their crates on both sides of the street, likely leading to similar accidents. Seeing people have a private conversation. In a secluded place is even more common. So you're saying we just happened to witness events that have occurred before? It's easy for mundane events to appear special. So either you can predict the future and make it deviate of, of course, or you happen to witness the past. Yeah, the second option Seems a bit easier to swallow. It's still... It's still 
basically the same thing though. Seeing the future or seeing the past. That's not what I that's not why I brought it up. I'm simply trying to offer a change in perspective. Well, it does explain what we saw. The conditions and actions required to trigger this power are still unclear. If you plan to investigate further, you should pay attention to those two factors. Speaking of a change in perspective, maybe you were the one that scared Mirak off. An ingenious thought, if Mirak and I have had never met before. Yeah, Mirak should be used to you, especially after I programmed it to recognize your voice. Something must else must have happened. Well, there it is. Hmm, Marak? Where have you been? Beep, beep. You went, you went to look for more coffee beans because the shop was out of stock? Hey, if they're out, they're out. You don't have to go that far. Marak sure is persistent. Candice, something on your mind? I was just thinking about Mr. Hyphen's theory. Makes sense. Until we factor in the robbery in the desert. Huh. Oh, Tainari's here. Oh, you're all here. Something wrong? You look troubled. Just trying to work through some mysteries. Alright, it's almost time for our meeting. We'll catch you up on the way. I'm needed at the house of Dana. See you later. Huh? There's a lot of characters that don't have any voice acting in this event. They're pretty still on strike. Was that Farazan? Ah, oh, Farazan doesn't have voice acting either. Nice of you to finally show up. All young and capable, and yet, and yet, not one of you could get here with, for a senior much such as myself. Apologies, Madam Farazan. We uh got caught up in a discussion. A discussion more important than the candy tower. Finding a suitable material for the candy. That was supposed to be the priority. Or you might not make it in time for the parade. Well, did you figure something out? Yes, took me several dozen papers, but I got it in the end. Well, at least you long, young people work fast. All right, now's not the time to now's no time to slack off. We need to focus, or we still might not make it in time. You're right. We should leave the other case to Sino. There's not much time we can, not much we can do from here anyway. Well, then let's get to it. Don't make me order you around like little kids. Oh, and Kave, you wanted a mechanism to simulate the parade, right? I finished it. Already? That's amazing. Hmph. No more difficult than a rather tough standard so curriculum a hundred years ago. Here, let me show Let me know if it works. Thank you so much, Madam Farazan. But Sugar, mind helping me test this out? I need to observe the carriage to make adjustments to the candy tower. Sure, just leave it to me. Oh, so this mini game. I've already done this quite a bit. Well, the flower carriage is in motion, you can transfer it to. Yeah, I do all know all this. I've already done this mini game. I've done all the levels in it. It's quite an easy one.
I don't think the cart is speeding up in this one. And there's no power-ups either. Yay, I got them all! And didn't hit any of the obstacles. Oh, not bad. Looks like a successful simulation. Thanks to you two, I already have a pretty good idea of how the tower should look. Alright, now it's time for the production phase. Go ahead and sketch out the design we'll do with the candy part. Where are Collie and Dea? They've been to, been at Miss Juniorzard's house the couple past couple of days, working on the candy decorations. I'm sure they have it under control. Oh wait, now that you mention it, why are we meeting in the city? Wouldn't that be more convenient? Because we'd be right under the Dinger Archon's nose. Oh no, is that her? It'd be too easy to run into her. Being further away from Sumeru City means our chances of getting caught are lower. The last thing we want is for the Dinger Archon to discover the surprise. Huh? What's going on here? I thought I just heard my name. <laughs> oh no, we have to hide everything. <laughs> the way they're turning their head. Everyone in shock. That's a funny thumbnail. Was Candace under the table? Huh? Kikikave! <laughs> the Madame Frozen? You call this a design? What? What's? What possessed you to use that kind of material for the roof? Oh, um, I... Play along. <laughs> the design overturned centuries of Sumeru architectural tradition. The Dindrakon would be devastated if she saw it. Oh, uh, yes, you're right. I mean, just look at the... The facade. Completely unacceptable, huh? I'm sure you can come up with a new design in a few days, right? Of course. I'll get something for you first thing tomorrow. Oh, so it was a conversation about architecture. Hmm, I think innovation can be a good thing. Don't mind us, Archon. Kavi is an, Kavi is an intelligent young man. He just goes overboard sometimes. Really lets his imagination run wild. Don't worry, it's a simple fix. I see. Nothing to worry about. You'll revise this design right away. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Still, I'd be happy to take a look at the plans. I might be able to give some pointers. Mm, no, it's pretty... <laughs> the faces are so funny. And the poses. <laughs> oh, is this not a good time? Um, well, about that. They look extremely uncomfortable. Are they afraid to show me their work? Or embarrassed to talk about the problem? The plans. Oh, I almost forgot. My friends had them. <laughs> has them. That guy's always causing trouble. Ah, uh, I'll fetch them in a bit. Hmm, they're definitely up to something. It's Nilu. Nilu. Huh? Save us now! Huh? Save us from the Dendro Archon! Ah! Archon! Does she know the plan as well? Oh, Nilo, did you need something? Yes, I've been looking for you all over. The folks at Zubayafidia 
has some questions about the program for the sub Zero's festival. Oh, then I'll head over right away. Thank you for coming all this way, Nilo. No, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to pay us a visit. It's no trouble. I've had a lot of free time lately. I heard things were getting lively at Port Lomos, so I decided to come and take a look. Well, I guess we should head back, Milu. See you all some time. See you all some other time. That was very close. Thanks, Nilu. <laughs> Neither also doesn't have voice acting. Sorry for yelling just now, Carvey. <laughs> don't worry, I have nothing but absolute confidence in your design. I don't make a habit of speaking like that to a capable junior. It's alright, I understand. Oh no, he's back. Oh, Carvey, by the way. Ahem, hot to it, Carvey. We need those plans. Do I really need to watch you do the revision for this to get done? I'm going, I'm going! Oh, uh, I just wanted to say, you can always come to me if you ever need guidance or help with anything. Don't worry, Archon. This is all under control. Oh, she's very kind. Take care, Archon. Let's move our meeting spot to Paris DI. Just in case, Port Almost was a good choice in terms of location, but we forgot to factor in the festivities. Should we go now? I think that's the best choice. Kavi can focus on designing the candy tower. The rest of us will transport the materials. Don't worry, Kavi. I'll support you no matter what design you come up with. Thanks. Madam Farazan said she doesn't normally yell at her juniors, but I feel like I just got a glimpse of a true senior researcher. Even though there's nothing senior about her appearance. Alright, it's decided. Let's meet tomorrow at Paris DI. Give her sweetness complete. Wait, what if... what if Narita... Nahida <laughs> read our minds and she knew about the... birthday sprays? Because she can do that. How should I structure the... What did it say? How should I structure the candy tower? Oh no! <laughs> she knows about the candy tower now! What a talented junior! Oh no, now she knows about her... That Gavi said, Challenger Junior. This gem is really something. Oh no, now she knows about the gem. I don't think that really matters. I can also talk to them normally. We were just acting, but now I can't stop thinking about all the changes I could make to the design. Say, so, maybe I need a break from commissions. Poor Carvey, getting scolded by a senior like that. I should treat him to a nice meal next time. Doesn't Furry's on? Usually, yell at the students, though. I hope the Dendrocon didn't see through us just now. I wish she got the chance to ask about the gym. Wish we got a chance to ask about the gym. Well, she knows about it now. 
She just read your mind. That was a fun quest. Now I just need to do the last part. When she thinks back on her all of Earth days, will this be the most unforgettable? Give her memories. Give her surprises, sweetness, and memories. I'll continue the last quest in the next episode. I'm very close to this last commission. Maybe I just need to fight one boss, then I can get the last commission wards. I thought the Pyro Ridge is fine because. I'm very strong against this boss. I can kill this one very quickly. I just want you jungling. I think I should be able to kill this very quickly. Okay, I broke the... the... core thing. Oh yeah, that's very quick. I actually feel like I have powerful characters. I think I do, kind of when I fight that boss. Is this good? It's HP, but does have crit damage and EM and attack percent. I think these substats are good, but the HP isn't. I think HP percent is better though. Did that give me the last commission? Yes, I got it! I'll go heal and then I'll go to... the... Catherine. It's quite a fun event. I've been enjoying it, and there seems to be quite a lot to it. Add Astra at Thank Daily you for commissions! Completing. 20 premium gems. This is 
just this stuff. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, then you may want to watch more of my Genshin and Star Wars videos. So I have a playlist on screen over here, which you may want to watch. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.